I want to give thanks to my local gas station for providing paper towels for this for this video. Thank you, Exxon. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Today we're on the lake. We're going to be testing out these turn fins that we installed in the last video. We're going to run them up high and we're going to run them in the water. Do some adjustments. Tinker, test, and tune. We're going to try to find the sweet spot for, uh, for the best handling and performance. I think they're going to help the boat a lot when we're cornering and taking turns at speed uh, before this boat it actually ran pretty good uh, it took corners pretty good and, and it pretty much stayed planted but if you turn the wheel just a little too sharp one way or the other the boat would actually catch an edge and flip over so we put the turn fins on we're going to try to tame that down i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I've got the trim tabs up so that they're not touching the water. We're going to run them like this and just see how the boat handles with the trim tabs out of the water. And then we're going to lower the trim tabs all the way down and see how it performs. So this is the trim tab up test run. See how they're not in the water at all? Alright, now it turned real sharp. See how she's skipping when we make a turn? Let's uh let's do a turn. It actually turns pretty good, but it does skip. You see how the angle of the boat is when it's in the turn? And it's skipping. You see that skip? Let's try it again. Nice and solid on that turn. Skipping a little bit, real sharp. All right, you see the skipping? And I'm trying not to turn it sharp. Angle of the turn. All right, so let's put the trim tabs in the water. So we have them all the way down, and it's basically they're basically going to touch the water when we're getting up on plane. So we're going to test it out like it is, and then we'll move them back gradually. Uh, that way they, they're only entering the water when you're in the turn. That's how you should run them, and that's how they're supposed to be run. Out of the water when you're planed out, and in the water in a turn so let's check it out let's see how it performs and it, it's, it's actually creating a lot of drag it won't even get up on top of the water it won't even get up on top on plane hardly See how it's uh, down in the water. That means you have too much uh, trim, too much in the water, too much spray, and she can't get up on plane. There's too much drag. So again, we'll we'll do it again. I'll do a little bit closer so you guys can see it. So. Yeah, it really does. They do work. Wow. So watch, watch. You see, oh man, it don't slip at all. You see that? You see how it doesn't? It doesn't really get get a big angle when you're when you're turning. Watch. You see that? Wow. Nice and nice and smooth. 
All right, so top in. Yeah, see, they're touching the water when you when it's planed out. Oh, and they look cool on the boat. They look really cool on there. I'm gonna move the fins up and back. Well, basically back, and that'll move them up. So let's see. Let's see what that does. And like I said, we're just tinkering, testing, and tuning, trying to find the sweet spot. And, and I'm really just, I'm really doing all this to show you guys uh, the performance difference when you have turn fins all the way down in the water and all the way out, you know, the way they're supposed to be. So this is actually starting to creep up on the way they should be mounted on a boat. Uh, I would say maybe a little bit back a little bit more so we're gonna see this uh, how this does um, turn fin angle back second test all right yeah she's actually riding higher in the water and that tells me that the fins are not touching so let's let's see what it looks like on plane okay let me see if i can zoom the camera in a little bit all right so they're definitely not in the water while we're running and that's what you want they're barely touching every now and then yeah that's what you want all right so let's do some turns Yep. You know, that previous run, previous test, the boat actually stayed really, really flat and flush to the water. Now it's starting to come up a little, but not quite as bad as it was without the turn fin. Yeah, that's nice, y'all. Let me see if I can turn it right here. See how? Let's get, let's get it closer so you can see the the fins in the water when it's turning. All right, see how it's out of the water and that left fin is in the water. So let's run them a little bit farther back. Right here might actually be the sweet spot. So they're, they're angled back a little bit more. Like the smallest the smallest change of turn fins and trim tabs, prop, prop uh, angle, it makes the biggest difference on a boat. Oh, that's the sweet spot there, you guys. turn fins adjusted the way I want them I'm just gonna run the boat and have some fun oh man these things make such a difference it really keeps the boat planted when when it's in the turn even when you cut like real hard like that batteries cut so I guess that's gonna call it a day
all in all i think the turn fins is a great addition to this boat i'm glad i got them i'm really happy with the way they performed it really enhanced the the handling on this boat it really did make a big difference in the handling so if you haven't seen my other video on how to install and set up your turn fins check that out i got a super simple method and uh it should help you out and save you a lot of time uh, but thank you guys for for joining me on this on this tinker test and tune run I, I appreciate your uh your support and all the views i'm uh, trying to build a channel for everybody to enjoy ironclad rc big b thank you for riding so we're running the Ovonic 8000 milliamp 50C discharge with the Offshore Electrics 150 amp 6S capable ESC. It comes with a cat pack. Now this is an awesome little ESC for the price. You cannot beat it. I've had no problems. I've gotten it hot, pushed it to its limits, and it's, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So that's a great buy. I'm running the TP Power 4070. 2050 kv brushless motor with a tfl motor bed i have a 20 mill kilogram d servo servo in this metal gear with uh i waterproofed it myself with corrosion x got a speedmaster 21 rudder silicone tubes and the hobby park turn turn fins now i will be installing some trim tabs for a little extra adjustment uh, probably going to be coming up real soon uh, one of the one of my videos so uh, stay tuned for that 